Hey everyone, I want to show you how to use CloudHQ's export emails to Google Sheets, Excel, or CSV extension to parse and extract certain data from your emails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your invoices by extracting the name of who sent them and the invoice amount. First, I'm going to search my inbox for all my PayPal invoices. Then I'm going to select them all. Then I'm going to click the Save Emails button and select Save Selected Conversations to Google Sheets. So right now, CloudHQ's artificial intelligence is determining what type of data to parse based on the emails I've selected. I'm going to go ahead and name my Google spreadsheet here. So now we can see the default columns here, and then here are the custom columns, but I'm still missing the name of who sent the invoice and the amount the invoice was for. So I'm going to click this link, Add or Edit Parsing Rules. This will open up the editor. On the left side of the editor is the email, and on the right side are the rules. Over here we can see a rule for due date. This is the name of the column in the spreadsheet, and this is the rule on how we can find this data. I'm going to add a new rule to this column. I'm going to go to the email, highlight the name of where the invoice came from, and then generate the column for it. So in this case, the column name is name, and the rule is that any text before sent you an invoice for, etc., will be added to this column. Now this dollar amount is going to change from invoice to invoice, so I'll delete this. So the new rule is now any text before sent you an invoice for. Perfect. Next, I want to extract the invoice amount, so I'm going to highlight this dollar amount in the email, add a column for amount, and the extension will automatically create that rule. And again, this information will change from invoice to invoice, so I'm going to delete this part of the rule, and this will automatically save. And now we can test out these rules on other emails by clicking here. In this dropdown, I can select other emails to verify that the data is being extracted properly. Let's pull up this invoice. If I click on the amount rule, I can see that the amount is being highlighted in red in this invoice. That's perfect. And then I'll click on the name rule, which highlights the name in red. Perfect. Now I can close this editor. The rules will reload and we can verify them. And as you can see, they've all been added. Now we can click start to export all of this into a spreadsheet. And now I can go to my newly created spreadsheet and see that this information has been extracted from these emails and then organized into columns. Here's the name. Here's the amount. So I have all this information automatically organized for me, which is so great. It's so easy to use.